they play an important role when it comes to moving grain on the river. Good afternoon to you here on the Rural Radio Network. I'm Bryce Duskett reporting. In the Midwest, it's most common to see semis and rail cars hauling grain from one place to another. In the Pacific Northwest, that is true, but there's also a third mode of transportation for grain. On a recent trip to Portland, Oregon with the Nebraska Wheat Board, participants of the Wheat Marketing Workshop learned about the role of tugboats and barges. Rob Rich is Vice President of Marine Services at a company called Shaver Transportation. Uh, We are a sixth generation, 143 year old tug and barge line here on the Columbia Snake River system. Uh, We provide ship assist services to the uh, downriver ports here on the deep draft Columbia River and we provide a a covered hopper grain barge service as far east as Lewiston, Idaho on the Snake River system. You mentioned the barges, that's kind of where this comes in. Group of wheat producers from Nebraska as part of this tour showing where wheat goes beyond the farm. What role does Shaver have in uh, wheat story to export? Uh, it, it's, it's a valuable role ourselves as well as, as the other uh, providers of service here on the Columbia Snake River system. Um, as you're aware, the Columbia River port system is number one in wheat exports uh, in the United States. 60% of the wheat comes by rail. A lot of it uh, railed from the Midwest. 40% of it comes by barge from the inland Northwest. And that's where Shaver Transportation comes in as we provide the barge service along with other services here on the river. Uh, for the Inland Empire uh, farm producing families uh, that are exporting their wheat to the Pacific Rim. Pretty sustainable as you uh, mentioned. Talk about uh, the competitive edge you have toward rail and uh, trucks. Okay, Uh, as far as the competitive edge goes, every bushel of wheat that's loaded aboard a barge got there by truck, so we, we do like trucks. The competitive edge is this, in ton miles per gallon of diesel uh, consumed for the shipment of cargoes, trucks are about 151 miles, uh, rail does an excellent job at 475 miles to move a ton of cargo with a gallon of diesel. Inland barging, 675. So the competitive edge is we are the most fuel efficient, most uh, environmentally responsible way to move cargo. We're also the least expensive because you have not only barge companies competing within their own group of, of uh, transportation areas, but you have barge lines competing with rail. And when barge and rail compete, shippers win. Yeah. You took the group out on a boat. Tell us about that boat and uh, what its purpose is. Oh, that boat's got a great history. Uh, the boat is the uh, Lincoln. It was built in 2015. We acquired it in 2017. Uh, it is a, a purpose-built upriver barge boat. So it's not built for going in the ocean, not built for ship assist services, Uh, It is built to hook up solidly to a barge tow of about 485,000 bushels of wheat, that would be four barges, and to push those barges empty upriver to get loaded, and then to corral them and bring them all back downriver. What do you like about your job here? What do I like about my job? I, (laughs) wow, that that, that is a big question. I suppose a lot of people uh, answer that way. What do I like about my job? Uh, I like the interaction with, uh, uh, with the maritime community. I like the interaction with the agricultural community. Uh, I like the fact that it's always a new day uh, in maritime, uh, whether you're dealing with ships or barges or uh, uh, any of the above. Uh, there is always something new. It isn't, it isn't a static industry in that respect. And, uh, and I like that. Uh, I personally, um, I spend a lot of time on the water and I've always loved heavy equipment. And so to be in the towing industry, it's a perfect meld of heavy equipment and, uh, and water exposure. What else do you want to share with our Nebraska audience? We are thankful for all of the agriculture that the Midwest produces that ends up being shipped out here to the West. Yes, a lot of it ends up down the Mississippi River system, but an awful lot of it also ends up by rail out here, and you are helping support thousands of jobs out here on the West Coast US, specifically here in the Columbia River District with, uh, with terminals, with tug lines, uh, with rail, uh, and with all manner of associated services. What you do in Nebraska makes a difference to us out here. My thanks to Rob Rich of Shaver Transportation for that interview. That tour was a popular stop for those attending this year's Wheat Marketing Workshop. Perhaps part of the reason why is that the group was able to ride on that tugboat on the river system. Participants such as Doug Carlson of Chapel, Nebraska, even got the chance to steer that boat for a while. As a wheat producer, Doug said he appreciated the opportunity to see where wheat goes after leaving his farm. Here are some of his thoughts on his favorite moments from the trip. 
Well, the tugboat ride obviously was the highlight. I really appreciate the opportunity to do that. It's, uh, well, I mean, 3,000 horsepower and a real foghorn. <laughs> What's not to like? Does this experience change your perspective back in Chapel, Nebraska, growing wheat? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always good to see the numbers where, where my product's going. And it's interesting to see how it can be mixed with wheat produced in other parts of the country to meet the desires of the buyer overseas. Mm -hmm. What else do you want to add that I haven't asked you about? I just really appreciate the opportunity of being here. I want to thank everybody involved with getting me here and Schaefer Transportation especially for the tugboat ride. <laughs>